I've got a friend, right? Mark McGee, his name is. Now, let me tell you what he done after lockdown. He gave up on this city and got some money together and effed off to South America. Tonight, I was shouted out by the Orwell Prize winning author and veteran Scottish rapper Dan McGarvey, a.k.a. Loki, on BBC Debate Night. Now, I had to react to his statement for a few reasons. The main one being that I think it's the first time that myself or my bands or my podcast has been mentioned on BBC Scotland. So let's get into it. Do I have a TV licence? Yes, I do. Am I in the UK? Bloody freezing. Am I in the UK? Yes, I am in the UK. Let's go. I just want to make a point about a specific sector that Glasgow has been renowned for that nobody's touched on. Music. Obviously, music. Yeah, exactly. Now I come out of the music industry, and there are break sub the substrands of that, like poetry and mm. other kinds of art yep. and scenes. Yep, absolutely. But anyway, why was that mentioned, and why did that f off to South America? The context is about the state of the city of Glasgow. Let's watch the clip, and then I'll jump in to clarify some things. I've got a friend, right, Mark McGee, his name is, and he's one of the many unsung heroes in Scotland who's always working hard to put on and platform new artists. A lot of artists that later get into the higher levels of the industry, they begin at that level. He's part of the most important tier of the music industry, where the real creativity and freshness is happening all the time. Now, let me tell you what he done after lockdown. He gave up on this city and got some money together and effed off to South America. And it wasn't giving up like he didn't have it in him to fight for the industry that he's been involved in all his life. It's that the amount of barriers in the face of particularly working class artists. So basically post austerity, post lockdown, Brexit, being an independent DIY artist and promoter felt unsustainable, expensive and a thankless task and added to that lots of personal bereavement, a partner who was in chronic pain and the fact we had to move out a flat so I thought why not move somewhere warmer and skip most of the brutal Scottish winter. So I just sold most of my shit, got my first ever overdraft and my first ever credit card and took a huge financial gamble on myself and what I do as a, an interviewer, a podcast and, and this YouTube channel you're watching just now just to see if I could actually do this full time. Kind of doing the math, some, I've got 140 patrons just now. What well, I did in November, and the idea was can I get to 300, say, and that would be enough to do this full time, just interviewing people, recording and editing live music sessions, uh, maybe going to new places and discovering new underground scenes. That was the general the vibe that we're going for. The gamble's not really paid off. I mean, I think we're at 154 patrons just now. And the reality of that changing a lot in the next while is, is unlikely. But on the other side, the gamble did pay off because I've met new connections, new friends, had life experiences I'll never forget, had food poisoning that I'll never forget. So, even if it doesn't work out, at least I tried. But I never quit. I did the opposite of quitting. I 
never gave up in Glasgow. I just needed to recharge and reimagine my role in a music scene that doesn't, that's based in a country that doesn't care about heating or feeding their people, never mind giving them the luxury of having a, a banging night out. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go back to Dan McGarvey on BBC Debate Night, who's continuing on with the same point, but he also relates it to an earlier question, a question that always comes up in these kind of things. It's a question as old of time. It's the valid community point about dog shite and wheelie bins and how that interacts with the fact the Trident spent £17 million on a missile this week. In the face of particularly working class artists, I mean that ABC venue that got burned down as a result of the second art school fire, that was one of the biggest venues that working class artists could do a support slot with a big international act that would start their career off, all their friends would go, they would stay in that part of the city all night. No, it's just a junk food chewing gum turd gauntlet to walk at night. <laughs> and I don't have all the answers, but I don't. I, I think it's distasteful sometimes when we try to attribute political blame because we know that these, pro these problems are fundamental, they're structural. Where is the money? Who knows? 17 million a day firing a miss dummy nuclear missile that then he goes as far as my six-year-old daughter could have thrown it for a nuclear programme that costs £200 billion and everybody's saying, where's all the money to get the bins taken out? Well, no, we, we, we have... The cost of living is crippling venues. Established artists are being forced to retire early and that means that the new artists have no chance. And with the poor travel options of Glasgow, and the price of paints spiralling into some kind of London hellscape. There's generations of true music fans that can't afford to go out anymore. And don't get me started in the festival season. The, the festival season since 2020 has given me a unique form of PTSD. Landfill culture. The price of land is killing culture. Do we really want our city to be weather spoons, dog shite and student flats? I've never had any funding, ever. I've been too proud and too baffled by the forms. But right now I think that's the only way forward now, is to fill out forms, which I said I'd never do, but it seems to be the only way. And just as I've decided to fill out forms and apply for funding, the funding has vanished. It's vanished off into the night. It's vanished like all the politicians who said we were better together. It's vanished into the night like the charlatans who told us to vote for Brexit because it was in our best interest. It's vanished off into the night like the journalists who blamed refugees and the unemployed and made the general public accept draconian austerity measures. And meanwhile, we have a House of Commons who can't even agree that genocide is wrong. The country's fucked. But I never quit. I never quit Glasgow. I'll be back for festival season because we need to do something. The city is dead right now. But I have faith in the talent and the intelligence of all the artists out there that we can fix this and bring it back to life. I also released a single about the state of Glasgow right now called Landfill Culture. It's available on all platforms. I'll leave it in the comments somewhere or in the info. And uh, it's doing really well considering we have no management, no label and no budget, no marketing no mainstream radio or radio plays or mainstream reviews. It's actually mental that it's not been played in BBC Six or BBC Scotland. 
we end up getting a mention on BBC Debate Night, which is mental. But yeah, landfill culture's out now. I'll maybe, if there's a demand for it, I'll maybe break down the lyrics in the next video on this channel. Shout outs to Dan McGarvey for giving me a mention on BBC Scotland Debate Night. He has a new TV show called The State We're In. If you're new here, then please like, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you think about the current state we're in. And thank you for tuning in to You Call That Radio TV. I started this channel during lockdown because I couldn't work. There was no live music was illegal at that point. So we did daily live streams and we did them almost every day, sometimes three times a day. And since then, we've hosted over 50 gigs and curated over 10 festivals. So thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, it's packed with interviews, live sessions, new music, comedy, poetry, politics, commentary, and an unpretentious vlog, or an unpretentious travel vlog of Mexico. We have no adverts, no sponsors, and no funding, so if you think you can afford £3 per month to support this platform, then please do butter in. You also get bonus content, free tickets, discounts to cool stuff. And that's it. Thank you. Bye!